Today we will be learning how to take resting blood pressure. An important thing to remember is that the patient should refrain from smoking cigarettes or ingesting caffeine at least 30 minutes prior to the measurement. Patients should be seated quietly for at least 5 minutes in the chair with their feet flat on the floor and their arms supported. You are to wrap the cup firmly around the upper arm, aligning it with the brachial artery. It is important that the correct cuff size be used in order to get the most accurate measurement. It is also very important to make sure that the cuff is wrapped tight enough around the patient's arm. If it is not, you can easily adjust it to where it is comfortable. You will then place the stethoscope chest piece right below the antecubital space over the brachial artery. It is important that you inflate the cuff to over 180 millimeters per mercury. Once you reach 180, slowly start to release the pressure at about two to five millimeters of mercury per second. The first sound that you hear will be your systolic blood pressure. As you continue to listen, the last sound that you hear will be your diastolic pressure. The sound that you will be hearing will be similar to that of a heartbeat. Some important numbers to remember is that normal resting blood pressure is 120 systolic over 80 diastolic. Prehypertension is systolic between 120 and 139 and diastolic between 80 and 89. Stage 1 hypertension is systolic blood pressure being between 140 and 159 and diastolic being between 90 and 99. Stage 2 hypertension is systolic being anything greater or equal to 160 and diastolic anything greater or equal to 100.